conditions, um, having, yeah, like, as you mentioned, recently beat India here as well. So uh, this is exactly the kind of challenge we need for, um, you know, with the World Cup uh, not too far away, uh, test ourselves against probably conditions that we as a side will, will find the hardest. So um, that's going to be a great measure of where we are as a team. You're expecting a slow and low wicket. Um, you know, I think, you know, expect the conditions that, um, you know, will be, will be tough for us. So, um, which is exactly what we want. Um, that's, that's the kind of challenge we want as a team, um, you know, to test ourselves in, in tough conditions, which will be great preparation for us moving forward. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, I think all our preparation is, is geared towards that World Cup. This is the conditions that would probably be the closest that we can get um, uh, to playing in India, um, you know, as well. So we only have these matches, um, you know, and then don't play again until September, just before the World Cup. So it's a, a great challenge for us and, um, you know, we're, we're excited for the series. देश जुड़े शुरू हुए थे नगद रकमारी ऑनलाइन बोई मेला रकमारी डिस्काउंटे रूपरे शुद्ध मात्रों नगद दिए पेमेंट को ले पावे न आरो एक उस परसेंट कैशबैक। अम्म नो इट्स अ लॉन्ग टाइम अगो अम्म एस यू सेइ बांग्लादेश अलवेज हैड अ गुड रिकॉर्ड एट होम सो अम्म वी हैव सम वेरी गुड प्लेयर्स इन We're excited for the challenge. Um, we've had a lot of guys um, over the last few years are exposed to playing in subcontinent conditions. A um, number of guys have been here and played uh, in the Bangladesh Premier League and um, we'll have a, a bit of an idea as to what to expect. Um, but that doesn't make it any any easier. It's going to be a good challenge and you know, we look forward to it. Uh, more accustomed to the conditions, spending more time in, in the subcontinent um, being exposed to the conditions more often um, you know, before the advent of franchise cricket. You know, you'd only come here uh, as an international team. And um, so, yeah, absolutely, with more franchise cricket around the world, guys are more exposed to the conditions. No, we'll always try and be as, as aggressive as we can. Um, you know, I think you know, the misconception is that you know, we're aiming for 400 every time, but it's, it's more about trying to push the boundaries of what's capable on the day, um, not settling for for par, trying to push that, that envelope uh, higher. You know, if, if the maximum you know, on the wicket allows is a, as 100, can, can we try and score 100 um, instead of 80? So, um, yeah, we just try and assess the conditions and, and imprint our game as, as much as we can. Um, you know, but of course, you, know, you have to understand conditions, adapt. Um, but we're, we're always going to fall on the positive side as opposed to the, the uh, more negative side. No, there's always good competition when the two teams play and um, you know, expect a competitive series. Yeah, I think, um, you know, as I've said in all the questions, it's, it's, it's the same. Um, you know, Bangladesh are very good in their own conditions and um, there's definitely an advantage to playing at home. Yeah, I'm sure they'll, you know, for the last few years they've utilised yeah, their home up. advantage. Yeah, I think, I think so. Um, I think uh, even if we'd, we'd won that game in, in 2015, I, I think we would have fallen down uh, not far after. Um, I think looking back, we were quite a way behind the rest of the teams in the world at, at that stage. And, uh, you know, it was you know, very obvious post that, that World Cup that we uh, had to change the way we played uh, and try and be um, you know, at the forefront of, of where the game was going as opposed to trying to catch up. So uh, I think we would have we got to that point, um, you know, regardless. Um, but obviously that losing that match was a you know, being knocked out of the World Cup at that stage was uh, you know, probably the, um, you know, absolutely is now looked back at as that, that real turning point for, for English cricket. But um, I'm sure we would have been found out not long after had we, we managed to get through that game. Cohen's a really exciting talent. Um, he's obviously made his test debut in, um, you know, against Pakistan recently. Uh, he's still a very young man. Um, you know, he's a, just a teenager still, so we're we're excited about his development and, and where we, we think he can go. Um, and it's great to have him in and around the, the England setup. And um, someone like Adil Rashid has been such a, a star performer uh, for us for a long long period of time. You know, Ran getting to spend time with him and then discussing bowling and uh, watching each other bowl, I think will will be a huge benefit to him and, and a big stage in in his development. And uh, yeah, really excited for. For someone with so much talent, um, you know, not just with the ball, with, with the bat as well. So uh, yeah, we look forward to, to watching him develop and, and hopefully um, you know, turning himself into a, a, a brilliant international cricketer. Yeah, there's a, you know, obviously the, the difference of, um, you know, generally the wicket will be slower. Um, but guys like Joffre and Mark Wood, they obviously have um, 
you know, fantastic airspeed. So, um, you know, sometimes there's a um, you know, someone who can bowl so with such pace um, uh, on these wickets is is still a handful. It's not actually always has the benefit of the batsman. So uh, we have a nice variety in the attack. We have a nice variety in the squad, both right arm, left arm, you know, high pace guys who can swing it. So uh, we have a nice balanced attack. Total in, in T20s, they, they look at actually how many sixes they feel like they have to score uh, in the chase to win the game. Um, and you know, I was saying that I, I'd never at that point thought about the game in that way. I was sort of always looking at runs per over required or uh, things like that. Whereas, um, you know, I remember Darren running a message on saying, you know, if you hit five sixes in the last six or seven overs, we'll win the match. And um, just a, yeah, a different... Uh, mindset, um, different way of looking at the game and uh, something I, I hadn't thought of before at that time. Uh, yeah, I think so, at different times. Um, it's just great to have you know, different options of looking at the game different ways. Um, I think guys uh, who are, uh, especially if you have that ability to clear the ropes and, and hit sixes, um, you know, it's a nice way to take pressure off yourself. For more updates, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the bell icon. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Download T Sports app to enjoy exciting games and highlights. Visit tsports.com.